guys, it's Dave and Adam out here and uh, just turned over to January 19th, I think we just passed midnight. Um, had a little event that came in, dropped about six inches of snow for us, nice fluffy snow. Um, our air temperatures right now are about five degrees, ground temperatures floating right around that. We have some really cool stuff that we're testing tonight. Um, we have the friction sensor in the truck monitoring all the data. So we'll be, we'll be running a lot of things side by side. The, the big thing we're testing here is um, not only a few different additives that, that Adam's gonna talk to you about, but uh, also the difference in um, plows that were run on the same property. We had a M7 Kubota running a 124219 Metal Plus Live Edge. Uh, we had a 906 Cat and he was running an 83013 metal plus and then we'll be running the F350 with the, the nine and a half foot Hineker V plow here. So we should be able to get a really good feel between the difference in the mechanical uh, methods that we're removing the snow within our, our overall application rate. Yeah, it feels good to finally get out this year. We've had quite a lack of snow, but uh, we're gonna be running three different additives, uh, two products by Envirotech. Uh, it's going to be uh, AMP with salt brine and then Apex C with salt brine, and then also another product called Beat Heat. Um, so that's what we're gonna be testing here. Um, see the application rates we can get and the effectiveness in these cold temperatures. All right, so the way that uh, we kind of set up this parking lot for the, the difference in um, the plows that we're running here, obviously the two metal plus live edge uh, versus the, the straight blade on the truck. You'll notice that the west part of this parking lot has been plowed with the, the two live edge plows and I'm gonna take care of the, the north-south side. So we should have a very clear transition point um, that we'll be able to see from the drone. It'll make everything a little bit easier and then we can actually spray it and maybe see the melt time and the difference between the, uh, the two for uh, good enough. All right guys, so we just finished uh, plowing off here with the truck. Um, actually did a pretty decent job. Still a little bit more left on the top, definitely between the, the live edge and this plow, but that's to be expected. Um, so now we're going to be running our tests of the, the products that we have in my truck. Like Adam mentioned before, I got an 85-15 blend of uh, salt brine and beet heat. Um, we'll be crossing over the line here between the live edge and the, the straight bait, or the, the V-plow on the, the truck. Hanson's going to take half the parking lot, I'm going to take the other half and we'll, uh, we'll see which one performs better. Yep, and I'll be running a product by Envirotech uh, called Apex C, and that's going to be an 85-15 of the Apex C and salt brine. So excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, and one thing too, uh, looks like our friction sensor is coming up with a coefficient of friction of 0.31, pretty average across this parking lot. So that's gonna be our base measurement that we're gonna go off of. Um, not a tremendous difference between the live edge and the actual, um, and the, the Hineker plow here that we're running. But uh, there's a little bit of snow cover on everything. Um, looks like air temperatures are 8.6, just to get to the real, real numbers, and the ground temperature is 10.2. So we'll be monitoring that as the, the night goes on, but uh, let's get to it, huh? Awesome, sounds great.
Hey guys, it's Dave from Voidsmith Innovation. Just following up from uh, the footage that you just watched here. Um, you know what, the first night we ran uh, Beat Heat, Apex C, and Amp, um, all at 8515 blends. We were comparing uh, the Live Edge versus a straight blade. Um, and then obviously those three products side by side. It was kind of hard to tell. Um, we didn't really get the results that we wanted while we were filming. Um, we did pick up about a quarter inch of snow that uh, a small front came in behind that system. So our results were very good the next morning, but unfortunately the, the snow actually covered up some of the, um, um, any, any success that we did generate from spraying. We didn't need to respray because we did generate that brine solution and when the sun came up, it did take care of that little bit of snow that fell. But um, it was really hard to tell anything side by side as far as performance in, in that regard. We were running a pretty low application rate too. Um, 80 gallons per acre in those temperatures. We were really kind of trying to push them to their limits a little bit side by side. Um, general consensus on that, um, they all did very well side by side. My tablet was acting up a little bit on my friction sensor, so we, we weren't actually able to get a real good Bluetooth signal from it. So hopefully this next event will get that data a little bit better. But um, it, I would have to say that the first night was a, was a tie. Um, when we go towards uh, or to the footage on Sunday night, that was a lot from the exact same storm that hadn't been touched. You could see there was a very strong residual effect um, from the treatments before in that park. Now when we were plowing, the live edge was literally scraping down to, to uh, bare pavement. Um, the area that the trucks plowed, that uh, Hanson and I plowed together, you'll notice that the plows did leave quite a bit more behind. That's to be expected with those straight blades. Um, the area that the truck sprayed we and what you saw the time lapse of that was the beat heat running again at 85 15 this time at 90 gallons per acre our temperatures were about the same that day we were about seven degrees and over that hour long time lapse we fell um, down to about three degrees so as the sun was setting the temperatures were dropping off pretty quickly which always makes the de-icing process quite a bit harder um, but you can see that the snow does get quite a bit more transparent and the really cool thing about that it means is that we're breaking the bond of the surface as we drive away, we can see the tire tracks cut down to the bare pavement. Um, that lot looked perfect in the morning. So we were running 90 gallons per acre where the trucks were plowing. Um, Adam was spraying with that other F-350. Uh, he was running AMP in that truck and Apex C. And his application rates were 80 gallons per acre, and then he was actually able to drop it down to 70 gallons per acre just because there was so much left, less moisture left over from the Metal Plus plow. Um, side by side, the two looked very, very similar, um, which is to be, again, expected from those two products. I would say that um, the only issue I would have with running the beat heat is it does have some organic content to it, so we do have some foaming issues in the truck. Nothing terrible like you're going to see from your IBG Magics or your, your Road Guards with a, with a very high organic content. Um, probably by far on par one of the products that, I've, that we've run so far to this date. Um, that's performing on the level of AMP and, and, uh, and Apex C. Still a lot more testing to do. Um, we're gonna get the friction sensor up and running here again, get some really good footage for you. Got some more events coming in, so we're looking forward to that. Remember to follow us, uh, Facebook, um, subscribe on YouTube, check out our Instagram. Um, we're gonna be posting a lot of good stuff for you and taking advantage of every event that we get.